What's up, Raging Nation? How's it going? This is Alex Yu, and you're watching the Raging Runner Review. In this episode, I'm going to give you guys a top 10 list. In this top 10 list, I'm going to give you my top 10 films from Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves celebrated his 52nd birthday yesterday. It was his 52nd birthday. He's 52 years old, and he doesn't look a year older than 35. So I decided to celebrate his birthday, or pay tribute to him, with my top 10 list of favorite films from him. Now, I've got to be completely honest with you guys. I haven't seen half of the films that Keanu Reeves is in. This is a list of 10 films that I've seen, and he has a long, long, long list of credits, but his films are hit and miss. I won't say that he's a great actor, but he's a great actor when it counts. And when I say that his films are hit and miss, he's got more misses than hits. But his hits are very, very iconic. And they make for some very iconic characters. So that's something that I'd like to say before I give you this list. And now I'm going to give you the list. And we're going to start off with number 10. And that is The Matrix Revolutions. And yes, I know a lot of people say that The Matrix Revolution sucks. And I'm not going to disagree with you. I have seen The Matrix Revolutions and it was underwhelming. But he still plays an iconic character in that film. It's not the best version of that character. But it, there are some moments that really stood out in this film that made me really enjoy it. So The Matrix Revolutions is number 10. Number 9 is Man of Tai Chi. Now this is where Keanu Reeves decides that I miss doing kung fu on the big screen and I really want to work with uh, Master Yoon Woo Ping who directed the film and also Tiger Chen who was the guy that trained him and they they put him in a movie and uh, this was a fun film this was a martial arts film and it's a martial arts film that we don't get to see a lot of these fil these days it's a fight film it's a film about uh, uh, you know, a, a, a big fight tournament, a martial arts tournament, and, you know, you know, it's a film that's in the style of blood sport, and we don't get a whole lot of these films. This film was actually good, and it has a lot to do with the fact that there's authentic martial arts in there, like some really good fight choreography in there, and he plays the bad guy, which fights the protagonist, Tiger Chen, and while his, you know, you can see that he's lacking in the skill, it was still a good movie, so I really enjoyed that. That's number nine. Number eight is The Matrix Reloaded. I really enjoyed The Matrix Reloaded. It was full of action, and it really took The Matrix into a whole other, like, freaking, like, over nine level 9,000 level, and it was just ridiculous. It was insane, and it was all because of the action and, and the direction they decided to take it in. Uh, unfortunately, it was a bit of a mess, and that was because it was a half of a very confusing story. So, you know, that's the weak part of the, the film, but it was still a very memorable film. So that's number eight. Number seven is Bram Stoker's Dracula. And this is a classic film. This is a classic Dracula story. I'm not talking about, like, it's classic in the sense it's like the original, original film. I'm talking about that this film really made an impression on 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 um on fans of the the universal monster dracula himself and i thought this was a really great dracula story there's some great performance in there uh, all star cast and even though keanu reeves performance or rather his character was the weakest of the entire cast it still was a very memorable film and it was a great retelling of the the classic uh, monster character uh, number six is Something's Gotta Give. And this is a romantic comedy where Keanu Reeves plays a supporting role. But I actually love his role in this film and I love his performance. Uh, his character was very well written. and It's a character that I find that is um, in the realm of uh, romantic com comedies is actually quite memorable. The film actually um, uh, stars um, as a protagonist Diane Keaton and Jack Nicholson. And I thought that Keanu Reeves added a very strong element of charm into the story. So um, that is a, a film that I really, really enjoyed. That's number six. Number five is John Wick. He go, I mean, Keanu Reeves goes back into the realm of gunplay in John Wick um, after the Matrix sequels. And he goes all out. 
And this film, it knows what it is. And what I mean, what I mean by that is that it doesn't take itself seriously. It is a film that couldn't, which has a story that could not possibly exist in the um, in the um, in the real world. Even though it's just like you know, um, um, good guys versus bad guys, they created their own little world, like their little underworld, which is so uh, complex and. I love that about this film. They really put a spin on the, this whole, like, the, the assassin's genre. And Keanu Reeves really kills it with his ability to to uh, uh, fight not only in, not just in uh, gunplay, but also in hand-to-hand. -hand. So that was awesome. It's a very, very action-packed film. Can't wait to watch the sequel. It comes out in 2017. Number four is Point Break. Point Break. Oh, man, what a, what a, um, what an iconic film. This film is a classic we got Keanu Reeves, Patrick Swayze, um, and uh, it's a it's a movie about uh, surfing uh, bank robbers. What could be better than that? And some of the most uh, memorable lines in movie history come from this film. So, man, I I gotta say that uh, Point Break, classic film. Don't ever bother watching the remake unless you want to watch some cool extreme stunts. But this original film is where it's at. Number three is The Matrix. The Matrix came out in 1999 and it redefined cinema. It redefined science fiction and it redefined visual effects. It is a groundbreaking film and it is a film that you can watch it now, you can watch it 20 years from now and it'll still be awesome. There are uh, um, some really, really amazing moments in this film and the Wachowski brothers, they took like, you know, they're such nerds. They took the things they love from anime and kung fu films and Hong Kong action cinema and they brought it into the realm of science fiction and and uh, they they churned out a really, really out, like outstanding film. Like an, a film with like a brilliant story and some great action. The Matrix is number three. Number two is Speed. Speed is such an incredible action movie. Jack Traven, the cop that Keanu Reeves plays, he's he's um you know he's a character that um that you really really want to root for because he has to go through so many different twists and turns trying to make this bus not blow up, and that's what makes this film awesome. Director Jan DeBont, he keeps it a uh, like a, a thrilling ride throughout the movie from beginning to end. And the thrill ride just doesn't stop because after solving or resolving one obstacle, they have a new obstacle and a new obstacle and it just doesn't quit. Great performances from Keanu Reeves and Sandra Bullock. They made a great team and this film is so awesome. I gotta put it up there with one of the greatest films, uh, greatest action films of all time. And which brings me to number one, my favorite number one Keanu Reeves film is Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure is one of my all-time favorite comedies. I love this film. I can watch it again and again and again and never feel bored. It's got so many hilarious moments. And I love a good time travel movie. And they took the time travel genre, put it, brought it into comedy, and also into the realm of high school comedies. And that's what makes this film's wor film work. It's the story and also these wacky characters that are so much fun to watch. Bill S. Preston Esquire and Ted Theodore Logan, played by, played by Keanu Reeves and Alex Winter, they really nail their roles. And watching this little, this big adventure that they go through um, is just so much fun. And that's a film that uh, I will forever love. Ke uh, Keanu Reeves, there you go. Top 10 films from Keanu Reeves. Uh, let me just go through with, uh, grow through them with you. Uh, number 10, Matrix Revolutions. Ma number 8, Man of Tai Chi. Number 8, Matrix Reloaded. Number 7, Bram Stoker's Dracula. Number 6, uh, Something's Gotta Give. Number 5, John Wick. Number 4, Point Break. Number 3, The Matrix. Number 2, Speed. Number 1, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. I've seen a lot of other films from Keanu Reeves. They really don't make the cut just because they're, they're some pretty bland roles. Uh, the last film I saw from Keanu Reeves was 47 Ronin, and that was a terrible film. <laughs> um, and, um, well, actually, 47 Ronin came before Man of Tai Chi and John Wayne. Anyways, um, I didn't like 47 Ronin. Uh, Street Kings was not a, a good film either. The Day the 
uh, Earth stood still. I couldn't even get through the first 20 minutes. Uh, Constantine had its moments, but it still kind of bored me, and um, it was kind of anticlimactic. So anyways, um, yeah, so he's kind of a hit and miss actor, but I find that these 10 films that I've, uh, I've mentioned really, really stand out, and I really enjoyed them. So there you have it. That's all I got to say in this video. What are your top 10 or top 5 or top whatever favorite Keanu Reeves films? Let me know in the comment section below. And there you have it. That's all I got to say in this video. As always, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Like me on Facebook, The Rage Nation. Also follow me on Twitter, Rage Nation. My name is Alex. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace. Anywhere near as good as that film, then I'm going to like this film. And let me tell you something. This film is outstanding. Hell or High Water is a very, very good